Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to uh, a little quick, what I'm going to call a quick peek. Uh, so like a, kind of like a pseudo review, um, kind of a first look, but try to use something that isn't being used by any larger YouTube channels. Like, let's look at Northern Lion does that. Uh, quick look, I think um, Positron maybe. Um, but there's a few few different people that obviously there's quite a few people out there that do reviews and first looks and stuff like that i'm gonna call mine quick peek so a quick peek of rampage rampage nights rampage nights uh, it's a new game released on steam i think on the 4th of september um i've got about an hour maybe an hour and a half into it um it is developed by rake in games they've done few other things this is only on PC that I'm aware of it's 995 on sale right now uh, down from 1199 so um, we will jump into it you can see that there is a uh, single player of course local co-op and online co-op I'll be honest I have not done local co-op or online co-op there's nobody I know has this game and um, there's an intro that you can look at here which we'll just take a quick peek at um, it's not voice acted, it's just, you know, so it talks about these warriors or heroes or whatever heading home with some treasure. They take a nap in the forest and this fucking goblin demon thing comes and steals the treasure. Um, it's not about the story. It is a, well, we'll just jump into it. Uh, it is a beat-em-up, kind of side-scrolling 2D beat-em-up. Uh, this is like the tutorial area where you can... These guys don't hurt you. A um, couple different attacks that you can do, uh, but we'll we'll get into that once we um, get more into the into the game. But this is the tutorial. It basically takes you through eight different things. Um, I do like the art style a lot. The music is very reminiscent of like a Knight's Tale. Um, here, this is kind of like your town. This is where you start every time because this is like very much a roguelike uh, it has different difficulty levels that make it not a roguelike but if you play on normal or uh, there's a couple different um, well actually over here we can talk to the jester and so there's casual which uh, on death you restart at the beginning of the current level and you get 10 more vitality starting out normal there is permadeath on death you restart in the camp Oop. and uh, all the items that upgrades are lost default health vitality and damage from enemies um, there's hard which we haven't unlocked yet, but enemies hit harder and have more health, more enemies in battles, and permit, and then uh, insane enemies hit much harder and have much more health, more enemies in battles, vitality penalty minus 10, so you start out uh, with less, 10 less health, random curse or disease on it, and on every level, and more spikes and more pits, which, believe it or not, makes the game quite a bit <laughs> harder. Um, I'm not very, I don't know if it's just me, you can customize the look of your character here with um, different hats, basically, um, and not all of them are unlocked. There's, you know, a bunch more down here that you can unlock. Um, you can customize what um, your warrior looks like, uh, and we are going to go as just uh, a handsome hero. Why not? Oh, <laughs> it does have kind of an interesting sense of humor. Um, it is randomly generated, so here we can we can. I've only unlocked the. You start with the adventure. It's the boring most default class you get 80 vitality and five strength or you can play as the barbarian i haven't played this as the barbarian yet i just unlocked him um but you're slower uh wields an absurd let's actually oh my god this thing is badass okay so we're gonna play as the barbarian um because i haven't yet this guy talks about the different challenges so uh kill 50 enemies no reward but some of them do have rewards like this unlock the barbarian class this was complete grand uh, Grand Me Revenge, Revengeal, Revenge, Crush and Oversize. So Oversize, kill a giant, crush, uh, crush 10 enemies by stomping on them, and then Grant Me Revenge, kill uh, 50 enemies. You did all three of those, we unlocked this. You can see we're 11% done with um, our uh, our challenges. Um, the Alchemist, I have not unlocked yet believe it or not so we are uh, we're gonna just jump into the game here like I said it's um, 
randomly generated. It's kind of a side scroll. Oh my god, he like swings so slow. Um, so much slower than the other character I'm used to playing with. But you can tell he also starts with more health. He has 90 health. Uh, so you pick up gold, uh, and then these items here, these are throwing daggers. Um, they, you can see it went in our, our slot up there. We can um, we can use these there. We only have four of them, and once you use them, they're gone. Uh, but you can pick up different items, throwing daggers, poison darts, um, bombs. Uh, you get a magic. So hopefully we'll get into some of the... A lot of stuff in the environment's destructible. As you can see, we eat this bread, we get 5 HP back. Um, there's a lot of a lot of loot, a lot of items. It's we should kill this. Uh, perfect. So that was very good because now we're back to full health. Um, it's a lot about loot, uh, but it is it is very very difficult uh, to play by yourself. There's a few different attacks you can do. So as you can see, we can just I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. By the way, it is uh, does have full controller support. Um, that go thing is very like double dragon esque. I feel like um, there's a few different attacks you can do. You can do your normal attack, which is just tapping X, and it will combo the shit out of people. Um, you can do a jumping attack, so jump in the air and then tap X. Uh, you can do a charged dashing attack, and then um, you can do an uppercut attack, which you can't really see there, but we'll get into a little bit of it here. So. So that was an uppercut, obviously. And then you can kind of keep tapping X in the air and wrecking some fucking face. Uh, excuse me, how is my health down so low? Pick up a few more throwing daggers. So now if we pick up this stone, we can throw this stone, but it gets rid of our daggers. So we're not going to do that. Um, there's another attack. It's like a little whirlwind attack. Um, oh, fuck off. Here, I'll see if I can do it here. He, that was tough to see because they... Oh, shit, this guy's got a shield. That is important to note, by the way. Um, oh, you can kick them, too, so they go flying. Then you can walk up and stomp on their fucking faces. But you, if they have a shield, you have to do one of two attacks. You either have to do the jumping attack, which we just did there, to break their shield and then... Because you, you can't do any damage to them if they have a shield. Um, or you can do the charged... See, this guy's got a shield, you can see. Boom! Gets rid of it. Doesn't do any damage when you do it. And we are almost dead. Uh, as you can see, though, we do have two lives. So if we die, we respawn right here. Which... Oh, shit, I've never seen this before. I hate the ranged enemies, man. They fucking wreck you. Oh, you can roll too, and I, I do not utilize the roll very well, I will be honest, but uh, ah, Jesus, what do I want? Do I want to go with the daggers or the throwing axe? I'm going to go with the axes actually, perfect, even though that's a, oh no, we got to go with the daggers, man, that actually picked all of them up, that was super nice. And then let's check this out. What is this? Scottish War Paint turns you into a berserker. Damage is doubled. Health is halved. Fuck yeah, that seems awesome. Except for the whole health being halved. Can we go this way? No. Um, there's also a combo system in place. So... They do look a little janky when they move. Uh, so this is the end of the first level. You get enchanted woods or whatever the hell they're called. Um gives you the you know enchanted forest completed level time 409 uh, game total yeah kills damage dealt gold collected all right perfect sweet there are shops in the game as you can imagine um, and there's definitely going to be some different mechanics that I'm probably not aware of or even used to yet okay so here you can fall in these pits which is a major bitch. See, you can throw you can throw the enemies in. Oh, we died. You can throw the enemies in the pits though too. And if you fall in the pit, you die. Immediate death. I want to kick a bastard. There we go. Kicked a bitch into the pit. Oh, and then we've got uh, what is that dude's name? I mean, you know who I'm talking about. The dude. He's always kind of a bad guy. 
in movies. I can't remember. I think he was in... I don't like this sword at all. Oh, nice work, buddy. And we died right away. So now we're done. We I should have been using the throwing daggers. Um, it's a little hard to explain the game and actually play it decently well. So let's go back and go back to the adventurer. Um, and get another. So you can see he swings much faster, but his damage is shit. I want to get... Stomp him. Stomp him. Stomp them both in the face. Oh, so the combos. You can see there's a, uh, the counter up there, right? And it, as you hit them, right? So if I get, if I, what is this? Elven Cure removes poison and disease. That's important. We will take that. There are potions. We haven't really seen a whole lot of potions, but there are potions. Um, can we break this? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, we probably want the throwing dagger actually over the rock, even though we only have one dagger. Um, potions, typically potions are, have a good effect and then sometimes a bad effect. Back to the, okay, back to the combo thing though. So you can see 10 hits. We also got um, a crit chance plus every hit that we land in a consecutively, so for, for comboing, our crit chance goes up by one and our damage goes up by one. So if we have a 10 hit combo going, our crit chance is I assume 10% higher. Um, you can see here, crit chance is 5%. If we get 10, it would be a 15% chance. It is also Our damage is also increased by one every time we hit. Uh, so we've got a wooden chest. We have to do a little lockpick game here. Um, as, as you can see, you don't want to screw it up. You want to hit the appropriate uh, golden ones. And you do it, you can you know, retry. Uh, Elven... I'm going to take that even though we didn't have a disease. Uh, we can select and see our stats. So we can get different items that will increase or decrease certain stats. Uh, we haven't really seen any yet. Oh, okay, graveyard. This is kind of cool. Um, so we can break these. We don't have to do anything here. We could just leave. But if we break these headstones, we can... Uh, it will spawn potential loot and it's going to spawn enemies to kill. Which, there's really, I mean, killing enemies doesn't necessarily do anything for us. But they can drop loot, I suppose. Um, and then if we clear the room, I think we get maybe another chest. Throw this bitch and then stomp on it. You can get different armors and whatnot. Um, different items, like you can get a belt that uh, you know increases your stats. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Don't ever come into my house and try to do anything to me, dick hole. Let's use our potion here. pretty good. Now we stomp, stomp, stomp. Perfect. That tends to be kind of the best way to whoop enemies' asses real quick. Then we get this coffin. We can break this bitch open. And it's going to give us some items here. So we're going to pick up all this money. Dwarven contraption. Multi-tool that traps enemies, opens chests, and builds bridges. That seems amazing. And it becomes one of our active items. So we can switch between our active items up there at the top. We do have a mana bar. Mana, mana, whatever you want to call it. Underneath our health bar there. Scroll of levitation gives you levitation. Uh, which, that is a single room use. And then a health potion. So we're not going to use the scroll of levitation yet. Um, I do hate these tall weed room rooms. They bother me a little bit. And I really hate the ranged enemies, man. I would like to get 
not super far. I mean, this is this is pretty much it. But there are some deep mechanics. It is, like I said, it is exceptionally difficult um, by yourself. I think the, from what I've heard, the the online uh, co-op works just fine. Um, so if you've got a buddy or a friend that uh, you know has some extra cash, I think this would be a, I think a ton of fun. If you were, let's pop our health potion here. A ton of fun if you had somebody to play with. It is actually very enjoyable, and I probably will do a series on this. I don't know how much, but I do like the unlockables. Uh, I do like the art style. I think it looks very, very nice. Um, the grass here doesn't look all that great, but it's not that big of a deal. Critted. You can get some pretty crazy items, too, that uh, that are more kind of aesthetics. Um, there's a potion that maybe we'll find later uh, that turns your head into a butt. <laughs> you just have a giant ass on your neck. Um, you can get a potion or, a, or an augmentation um, that every time you crit, you drop a banana peel, kind of like uh, from Mario Kart. Um, there are shops. We just haven't seen one yet. There aren't any. I've never found one in the, on the forest. So let's use this. I, that didn't work at all. And this is making me a little nervous. Let's pick this dude up and fucking end faces. We can throw him off. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, thank God it doesn't reset the fucking level. That would piss me off. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was also great. And can I pick you up? Perfect. We can stand on that. It seems cool. I want to... Oh, dude, that's sick. Okay, that's cool. I can get on board with that. Um... That didn't actually do what I was looking for it to do. So here we go. We got a gold chest. Let's pick this. We should hopefully get some pretty cool loot out of it. So we are. There's going to be a, a new weapon for us here. We've got the short sword, which brings our damage up to 10. Or we've got the venomous blade, which brings our damage up to... Or did this say 9? Excuse me, 9. Venomous blade, which is fast, short, and poisonous. I think we're going to take that. I do like it. Mountaineer schnapps makes you temporarily stronger, but kicks really hard. Uh, we'll take that. Flying sandals, you levitate over chasms. That seems amazing. Um, oh, hell yes. That's an awesome item. I want that fucking thing, though. So we can... I feel like that's amazing. Ring of Brutal Beatdown. Critical hit chance plus 5%. So now you can see our crit chance went from 5 to 10. And then... Nox's book, book uh, spell damage, plus five. Very good. So let's pick this up and then throw it. Oh, that hurt like hell, and it killed us. That was really stupid. It was very, very dumb. Did get a little uh, money out of that. Should always break the barrels, because you can, you can get loot out of them. So let's check out... Oh, that sucks, dude. Yeah, but the levitating over chasms, I have not seen that before, and that seems extremely useful. Now we're going to stomp this guy a few times. The stomping is a great way to, to end some enemies real quickly. So you can see that does a ton of damage. You can't poison skellies, which makes actually a lot of sense, given that they're dead. Ah, uh, don't, they don't have any flesh to really poison. It is good to get these guys kind of up against the wall, kind of stun lock them, and then you keep kicking them. Uh, this is just going to be money. And then we can break these pots and probably get a little bit more money as well, I would think. Usually there's shops and stuff or something cool. In this case, nothing really all that great, but... Um, murky water, we are not going to use that. I know what that does. 
we'll pick up the throwing axe. Uh, murky water shrinks us down, which sounds great because our because our um, hitbox is gonna be smaller. But it really sucks because um, it's harder to hit enemies. You have like a shorter you have a shorter radius with your swings. Um, we are gonna pick up the rum and use it. What is this? Actually, we're gonna take this. This is gonna hurt us. Giant strength. Goose, cat, please stop it. Our strength went up to 15, that's great. Then we're gonna take the rum. It's gonna make us drunk, which makes it really hard to walk around. <laughs> um, and it also makes it a little harder to pick locks. You can see like the camera kind of... Um, Oh, I love the, I love that. I need to use my dodge mechanic more. You can't, can't hit anybody when you're dodging. But you can get, and you can't get hit, but you can be hit by, uh, Oh, there's a shop, I think. But you can't be hit by, like, explosions and shit. It is so... I need something that is going to cure some shit. Jumping potion. This sucks. We're going to take the small health potion. So we can drink it. The murky water... No, we're not... We'll take the jumping potion. Uh, because it's going to make us just jump randomly. But if we can find... Oh, yeah, bitch. Let's just wreck some shit in here. Perfect. I don't want that murky water. So we're a little drunk. It will um, wear off too after a certain number of rooms. You can see like the counter up there on the left, right? We have the jumping um, problem. We have it for five more rooms. I don't know if I'm going to survive five more rooms. That's the problem. We got a shot, though. I want a new weapon. I haven't seen a ton of weapon variety. Um, now, that may change. That dude's kind of a bastard. We are almost dead, which is making me very nervous. I did find an item earlier. Oh, I think this is the end of the level. It is. Sweet. Okay. We need more health. And it looks like we've got a chance to get it here. There's some poison darts. We could get a potion, I think, out of one of these pots. I would like the ability to double jump, because once this uh, shitty jumping potion wears off... Then we can double jump. But yeah, I mean, overall, um, what are my thoughts? I I would recommend it. I mean, for t for nine fifty or nine ninety five right now, I think it's totally worth it. And like I said, if you've got somebody who um, nope. Oh damn it! If you've got somebody to play the game with, though, I'd, I'd definitely recommend it. I mean, it's fun by yourself. And like I said, I'll probably will do a series on it, probably at least do a few episodes. Uh, but as you can see, you know, you come back to camp and you have, you know, nothing. You know, you start out with a different weapon each time, although I think your, your damage is still the same. Um, the breast augmentation is a 50% sale the whole month. Interested? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Um, so you can break these open in the beginning and get a little extra um, gold to start to start the game. But ultimately, uh, that's pretty much... I mean, that's all I know of it now. But because of the unlocks, because you can unlock new classes, new heroes, um, it tells you how to unlock everything. Um, and these will change your playstyle quite a bit. I mean, look at you've got Battle Mage. Um, 
uses evade button to cast magic, evade plus attack is magic shot, magic barrier, area blast, teleport. Seems like a great multiplayer with that with that magic barrier. Uh, warlock, when at least one demon reaches its final stage, warlock, more, warlock is protected from death. Familiars refuse to join you out of fear. Um, can do double jumps, can assassinate a lying enemy, and can evade using smokescreen. Um, Stronger Kicks and Stomps has a bottle of rum and will not replace it. <laughs> Fully regenerates while drunk, and his parrot attacks monsters. That seems awesome. So, um, like I said, there's I think there's a lot of replayability here. It is random each time, not random, but uh, procedurally generated. So I would I would recommend picking it up. I think it's a I think it's a great game. Um, <laughs> it's obviously not sponsored content. Nobody paid me to say that, uh, but I think it's I think it's solid. If you're into these types of games, uh, and I think the the it's more than just button mashing. So, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the first quick peek. And if you did, uh, let me know in the comments and leave a like or subscribe or do all of it. That'd be awesome, too. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Uh,